Okay. Mm -hmm. Huma Abedin and um, her husband, Anthony Weiner, have separated. He's the ex-congressman who was caught up in another, his third, sexting scandal. Yeah, this was one of those things that was, we saw it in the paper yesterday, and it was confirmed, and um, then she announced yesterday that she was um, filing for, she's separating from him. This is one of those things that, you guys remember in 2011, mm -hmm. He was caught the first time, and and um, and then that was, was a year after they were married in 2010. Hold on. Then he they was caught again, and this is the this will be the third time um, that he has been caught this way. In other words, his his behavior has not changed. That was probably this is the third time he's been discovered, but who knows what's. It's so funny about when you when you trust somebody. And every, I think everyone's been in a relationship where you've trusted somebody and they've broken that trust, and, absolutely, and then you forgive them or you try, and that's hard. Yeah. Well, that's your choice. Right, but right. you make that choice. Especially and then, when you have children and they have a four-year-old son. And then when the person does it a second time yeah. or a third time, it's one of those things, and I think everyone can relate on some small level to, to what it must be like for her at this point. And she's also going through a whole bunch of other things in her life as well. You know, she's going through everything. What well, she's been called to testify a great deal uh, about the emails, and she's also um, right. recently but, been in the papers a lot because of uh, some some talk about her. Right, but her this, she's going through a lot of hard stuff. Yeah, but right I now. think this is like what. But this this whole this whole incident that happened that's been in the yeah, papers but this and is stuff. Yeah, the deal breaker. Yeah, it's like what a lot of um, you know when it comes to a trust issue that's broken. It's but like, don't what you think do you it was do? because of the little boy in the picture, Hoda? Yeah. I mean, that, uh, yeah. that you know, to, to, to do something like that with your, with your four-year-old child, whatever age your child is, right next to you and be part of it was what you and I said yesterday even before we discussed it publicly. It was like, mm -hmm. that's going to be the deal breaker. Yeah, I mean, you don't I, do that with I know. And the, the idea that you're making a decision at that time, mm -hmm. right? In that moment, you are taking a picture of your kid and you know that as you're taking that picture, you've chosen your urge or whatever it is over your child like yeah. you made that choice in that moment it's a tr tremendous act of selfishness because you're only thinking what you want right now and not who it's going to hurt this is and her quote she said after a long and painful consideration and work on my marriage i've made the decision to separate from my husband anthony and anthony and i remain devoted to doing what is best for our son who is the light of our life right so. yeah you do you st i'm sure she stay i don't know i can't say i'm sure i know what i did Mary you know I, used, I stayed because I didn't want my... Little people do not deserve big people problems. Yeah. And they, we give them to them all the time. And I just, you know, you just, you make that decision. I used, and I said to my kids as they were growing up mm -hmm. almost all the time, you know what you guys and I, we all have the same, we're all alike in that. We are all one decision away from a disaster. Mm -hmm. One bad decision. Mm -hmm. that can destroy your life. And, and so think about it, what you're going to do before yeah. you do it. You know? Yeah, you're right. A lot uh, of people would like to have that day. Look, you were talking about Ryan Lochte. Wouldn't he love, because you saw him the day before we, that incident. We were, it was so weird. We were just talking about that. We, he was on the show in Rio with us talking and laughing before the whole incident happened. And you almost wish you had a crystal ball and you could have said to him, look, tomorrow, everything's going to go south. Yeah. Your endorsements, yeah. your career, all that stuff. Yeah. So take a minute because you don't know what's ahead. You think that you're just, you know, it's just another day. Yeah, it does make you think about that. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.